Okay, so next we have the cranial mesenteric. It always comes off at an angle going caudally. And let's move this over here. So here's a cranial mesenteric coming up, and we have a common trunk that comes off. And our first branch off that common trunk comes over here to the left colic flexure. And so that's going to be the middle colic artery. And then we continue along here, and then we have one that comes up to the right colic flexure. And that's going to be the right colic artery. And then it comes along. Well, after that right colic comes off, it continues as the uh, iliocolic artery. The iliocolic artery is going to give off one branch. The colic branch. That comes up onto the ascending colon and that will become more important in the large animal where the ascending colon is greatly expanded. And then it continues on up and I believe that one has been cut which comes around to this oh maybe not, here it is coming off coming around to this side of the cecum and this is the cecal artery, and that cecal artery will then give rise to our antimesenteric ileal artery, which on this guy isn't so antimesenteric. He often is up here, but this one's along in here. It doesn't look like the latex filled it so well there. But that's the antimesenteric ileal. Its extent Oh, there we go, a little more latex here. Its extent kind of tells us the extent of the ilium. Okay, then our iliocolic will continue here on the mesenteric side of the ilium as the mesenteric ilium. Okay, let me come back here to our cranial mesenteric. And we've got a lot of jejunal arteries coming off and we get down to the terminal extent of the cranial mesenteric and these last ones that go to the ilium will just be ileal arteries so our ilium's got three supplies as the stomach did it's got the anti-mesenteric ileal the mesenteric ileal here and then these ileal arteries okay another important branch coming off the cranial mesenteric is okay, this guy up under here and I'm going to need to flip all this out of our way to find where it's going so here it comes right along here and as you see it's coming up to the descending duodenum in the pancreas so this is going to be our caudal pancreatic duodenal so we had the cranial pancreatic duodenal coming off the hepatic and here we have the caudal pancreatic duodenal. That's branching right off the cranial mesenteric artery here.